a senior advocate of Nigeria, Michael Zekome, has said that none of the presidential candidates in the forthcoming general elections can save Nigeria from uncertainty, insecurity and hopelessness. He made this assertion while delivering his speech at the 2022 Independence Day Anniversary Lecture organized by the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC held in Abel Kuta, Ogun State. He maintained that Nigeria's problem is systemic as only a structural adjustment can bring a change. Whether you are obedient, whether you are immobilizing, whether you are articulating, none of them can make any spectacular difference. We may perhaps have to look at a better option, the worst prime minister system of government that is less expensive, that is not overbearing, that is less weightful, or we should look at the pre-January 15, 1966 era, which I narrated glowingly when Major Kaduna Uzo Guchukuma led the first military and see how we can have either regional governments. Even if we do not have regional governments and we want to retain the states, we can have regional centers of development. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Mudashiro Basa, has charged the union to protect the nation's democratic institution. At every point in time, the parliament has always been at the receiving end. And people like us, the labels, the uh, unions, what do we do? We relax comfortably on our seat, washing, without taking steps. It is high time that we all rise at every opportunity to protect our political institution, particularly the legislature. The only time we say we have democracy is when we have legislation in existence. Military era, the only, absent, the only body that makes us I mean, refer to it as a military junta is because we don't have uh, legislature in place. As labor movement, it is a considered opinion that blame game, blame game shall take us nowhere as a people. And that if this nation must change for better, all of us as citizens of this country must not only be interested in how our country is governed, but also in the antecedents of those people governing us. It is on the basis of this strong conviction that we are determined to change the mindset that labor movement is not about wage increase and strike action alone, but also about good governance, equity and justice, and sustainable socioeconomic development of our country in an atmosphere of peace and comfort. 